what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel martial arts thoughts if you like what you hear like subscribe comment if you dislike what you hear like subscribe comment and tell me why i know that i am very new to this martial arts youtube game however i've been a martial artist for 22 years i uh, do executive protection I, I know you like why am i dressed like this i had a very wealthy client tonight and we were at an amazing mansion party. Just, just it was insane. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about that, okay? We're here to talk about martial arts. So, what is it about my martial arts that I trust? Why do I trust my martial arts? It is because of the nature in which I work, okay? My profession, it's what I do. I'm actively out there being tested every day pressure tested. Every time I don the badge, do my thing, do security and everything, I'm pressure tested a lot, very often. There are sometimes I'll do, I'll learn something new and I'm like, I wonder if this works. And guess what? I get the opportunity to find out in real life, IRL, okay? Something that I do look out for whenever I look at all of these self-defense coaches is they, they're not pressure tested. Therefore, they're operating in theory. Being pressure tested means that you can operate with maximum efficiency under pressure. Can you do that when people draw guns on you? Can you do that when people are preparing to shoot and you're still loading your shotgun? Or do your knees get weak? You know, do your knees get weak? Do your hands get numb if someone yells at you too hard or too loudly? You know, these are things that you have to become hardened for, for your theory to become applicable to life. And uh, a lot of people who learn self-defense or women's self-defense, both terms I disagree with. I use the terms combat, combat martial arts, or self-protection. It starts with the mind. Those are empowering words. Whenever you think of self-defense or women's self-defense, you don't think of strong people. Not really, unless it's like some badass who's an instructor in the game, but their actual badass really comes from outside of self-defense. It's because they're actively protecting themselves. And whenever I say combat, combat martial arts or self-protection, it speaks more to taking the initiative to protect one's self. I would like to have an impact on changing the way in which a lot of civilians look at protecting themselves. And if I can have that impact, great, you know, but I do know that what I say, what I bring to you in this channel, it comes from it being field tested. You know, it doesn't come from me just waking up with an idea of just thinking of a new move, you know, rub your hands up so whenever you slap him, you pull his skin off his face. That's not what we're doing here. I want to know what you all think. I want to know what you all think. Comment below. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I'm interested in finding out. But until then, it's martial arts thoughts. Stay dangerous.